Hello, my name is Ethel Bonson. I'm the managing partner of Diadem Finishings in Lagos, Ikeja. Okay, today we want to talk about the startup, like when you want to jumpstart a business. Um, looking at the economic situation of the country right now, for me, the first and foremost, you must have a passion. You must have a passion for fashion designing. It's not like you just want to do it because every other person is doing it. And then for you to start, for, for beginners, you don't really have to have a fashion house. That's if you cannot afford um, as small as it is because there are some people, they don't even have anything. And I've always been an advocate with start with what you have start because if you keep on waiting for a particular capital you will never start so start with what you have the most important thing you should have a, a relationship with a fashion house you know you could wait if when you have a relationship with a fashion house that can do production for you into what you want it to be like you have one or two clients most times like i started with family and friends they're always the people you know you start off with you meet them and, you, and sometimes you should also be ready to do for free. Let them just see what you're doing. If you take their, their measurements, you take their designs, what they want to do, and um, if it's a bespoke you want to do, you take it to the fashion house for them to produce for you. you know? Then you take it back to the customers or the client. You take it back to the client. And if there's an alteration, you take it back to the production um, company, the production fashion company that's doing it for you. I'm saying that because you might not even have money to buy a straight sewing machine, like even the normal domestic one, not to talk of the industrial. So uh, because I want you to start with what you have, you know, at least you, you know a fashion house that you can start up with. Then the first capital you have, the first money you make, please get one machine for yourself. So even if you cannot produce, in case there is an alteration, you can do. You can do the alteration on your own. And then when the customers come to you, even if it's in your house, you have a machine. If there's an emergency, you don't have to be running up and down. You get the machine first. Then you can start sewing from your house. You know, do, do, I mean, make do with what you have. Even if you don't have a generator, they have this iron, these ions that they, they put on top of stove or gas. You know, you go on, you, you, I mean, you use that one. Gradually, as you're growing, the next thing you'll need, it's a generator, a small generator. Why I'm saying that? Because finishing is key. Finishing is very key. So whatever you do, if you, how, however you manage, you should be able to iron the clothes, you know, do the finishing and take it, take it uh, to your clients. So like what I'm trying to say, you don't have to have... One million, you don't have to have a hundred thousand, you don't have to have fifty thousand. Start with what you have, as little as what you have. That's that is the requirement. But the most important thing, you should know your onion, know what you're doing. You should have a knowledge of fashion, the nitty gritty about fashion. Don't just go and start without knowledge. Try and go to a school, you know, try and go to a school or go for training. So, so you, you're coming out with with uh, something that is of standard. And then it's also important, it's also important you create your niche. Don't be a follower. Try and be, be an original. In your own little way, you create your niche and be consistent. And also integrity is very important. Integrity is key in this business. Well, most handcraft business, they have this um, thing about um, not delivering on time. Make up your mind. Try and be very, 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 try and be very, very prompt at your delivery. When you know you cannot deliver, you let them know. Integrity. It's good for you to build a trust with your customers. And then, like I always um, talk about, always have a feedback. When you finish with your customer, always call to ask the customer how the customer feels, what the, uh, if there's anything the customer will want you to add on to it or not. But in all in all, start with what you have. Start with what you have. Have, have a good relationship with a fashion house that will be doing the production from, for you before you get money to get your own. 
um, your own uh, uh, machine and don't be in a hurry to come out out there. Foundation is very important. It is very important that they say, as the saying goes, my father told me, it is better you take one year to build, to, to sharp a knife. It is better you take one year to sharp a knife so when you cut the tree, it will go down. Then you just start your, I mean, you, you, with a blunt knife, you're cutting the tree. After a while, it will be so blunt that it won't even go. So don't be in a hurry. Don't be in a hurry. There is what is called delayed gratuity. Don't be in a hurry. Let your foundation have a good foundation. Focus on your production. Focus on creating a niche for yourself. When you're good, it will speak for you. People will come to you. Your work will speak for you. And, oh, and be very, 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 very detailed with your work. Have eyes for finishing. Okay, talking about the machines, the kind of machines that you, you will need. Uh, first and foremost, I know that this industrial straight sewing, they're, they're a bit expensive since you start a beginner, but if you have money, and after buying the normal domestic uh, straight sewing, the next machine you should have is an industrial straight sewing. Because of the, your, so that the stitches of your work will come out nice. And then you also need an overlocking, an overlocking machine. You know, the overlocking machine will help you, you know, to do the finishing. After that, it, it depends on what you want to do. They have um, the buttonhole machines that if you're doing English wear or, um, well, with the buttonhole machine, you can use it for different kind of things. Then you also have the embroidery machine. When you do, when you do work and you want to design, you want to do design on your work, then the embroidery machine, machine will go a long way, you know, to help you. And of course, you should have an iron. We have the normal iron and industrial iron. And um, it's basic that you have an iron, you have an ironing board that you will use. And they, we have different things, you know, for, the, for ironing clothes. There are different things you use to make the, the clothes come out uh, very well. And then you, if you want to do t-shirt, I have a t-shirt machine. It's quite expensive. You could also have a t-shirt machine. It, it, basically, it depends on what you want to make. Like they, they also have this um, stone uh, machine. Uh, well, it's not stone. It's not a machine, but it's um, okay. They have the, the, the stone machine and they have the one that you press. The, if you want to do stones and then beading, you have a, a, there is a beading machine or you can do it manually. So like for me, it depends on what you want to, what you want to focus on. If you want to, if it is ready, if it is English wear, if it is chiffon or whatever you want to do, it's important. Then gradually there is also, they have the cutting machine. Oh, I know that is very, very expensive, but of course I want you to grow. As you're growing, you can have the cutting machine. So whatever, you know, you, whatever style you want it to cut, especially if you want to do mass production, you have the cutting machine and you have the, then, I mean, we have the seam, the seam, uh, the seam for needle that you used to do, uh, to, to put in your hand when you're sewing, because a lot of people, they have this problem with the machine running on their hands. So which is very important. Uh, that and that's it and of course you must have a generator generator is key especially in Nigeria without generator in fact for me after the it, you cannot use a generator without the um, in uh, you, you can uh, with the industrial machine you must have a generator because it's not manual for me I think after the main if you can get the straight sewing um, machine it, it's it's important you get a generator because without power you cannot do anything after the generator, the generator will generate more money for you to, to get those, the machines I'm talking about. So just start off with what you have. You, you start from domestic, then you go into industrial. Even with the ions, you get a domestic ion first, then you go into industrial. So there are different, different machines for different work. As you, as, you, as you grow in the industry, you'll get to uh, know about it. Don't worry, don't be afraid, just start, okay? It's better you're crawling than just sitting down. As you're crawling, you're, you're, you're moving. You don't know how far you have gone. After, uh, uh, when, you, when you perfect your crawling, you stand and then you walk. 
So that's the game of business. And so long as you're, you're persistent, you will get there. Don't be afraid. Thank you.